All right, welcome back to the shop. Been a busy the last couple days. I went to Edmonton and picked up five foot by five foot, one eighth aircraft grade plywood. This stuff is beautiful, it's expensive, but uh, that is the real deal for plywood. Um, I can't remember how many sheets were in there. I think they're supposed to have five. I think he said there was eight, I'm not sure with the 1 8th. I also picked up some 1 32nd back there. I wanted to get an answer of whether or not, how much I should buy it at one time, because I just want to get it all bought and be done with it, but no one has an answer of how much you actually need to buy total. I got 10 sheets to start off with with the, five, or with the 1 8th. I'll let everyone know how much total you will need to complete your plane. Uh, I got one half a sheet uh, cut up. The plywood is, I wrote down how much I need. I think this is exactly five inches. The spar caps are one by one with a one inch uh, one by one with a one eighth inch groove cut in there. So that leaves a total of six and three quarters from side to side. I've checked it all the way down after it's been glued up and clamped in place. It is exactly six and three quarters all the way down. Um, Clamped it right to the edge of the table, so I know that's straight. Clamped the other ones to it, so it's nice and straight. I put some plexi, plexi whatever you call it, saran wrap underneath, because I didn't want it sticking to the table, and God, it is messy. You set it up with the glue, with the caps like this, then you turn them over and you're trying to slide the uh, plywood in there. It's messy. So that's that. It's done. It looks good. I'll take it apart tomorrow and see how it fared. Um, rib cap or false ribs are starting to be created. They go together a heck of a lot easier than an entire rib. You can lock those out pretty quick. I'll lay up some more of those tonight. And uh, that's the update for today. All right. Any questions? Go ahead and ask them in the comments. And uh, we'll go from there. I want to document everything so that people who build the Dakota Hawk kind of have an idea of what they're getting themselves into um, uh, just so that they have something to watch and see it being done. I did start to film again with the stupid Nikon of the laying up of this and the battery went dead. So that is that. Um, I don't know how was the best way to glue this. I just made it up as usual, half and half. Put it in that little container right there. And I had to mix up a whole whack to fill up these grooves all the way along. I used a popsicle stick and a little brush to make sure that all three sides of that groove are nice and glued up. And then I put them into place and slid, kind of slid and put the plywood in at the same time. It's, I'll, for the next rib, I'll try and film the whole thing so you can see the way I did it. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do it. It's messy works. Uh, wear gloves, that's all I can say. All right.